Really? You didn't talk to me out there. Well, I looked for you and there you were. You were gone. Give us a kiss. Hello, my darling. Excuse us. Have a sit down, Chuck. Oh, Thanks. flowers. Beautiful flowers for me. Oh, well, no. They're actually for someone very special. <laughs> very special, aren't I? That special. Oh, well, yeah, we said you are, but I, I just, um, I couldn't get a bunch big enough. <laughs> well, before we talk about the flowers and this special lady that you've brought them for, I mean... Right here. We're, here, all right? Yes, we want to know about the gossip. I mean, cos here we are, we bought our tickets in our millions to see your Heathcliff oh, musical. Oh, I know. Well, tell us about it. What's the, what's the latest? Well, it, it's really frustrating because if, if I was going to do Heathcliff in a West End theatre, for instance, you'd booked the theatre for a couple of years, and then if you ran four or five weeks late, you'd just start late. And Tim Rice, who's doing all the words, he said to me that all the shows he's ever been involved in, for one reason or another, have run a bit late. And uh, it's just that we couldn't just start four weeks late because I was going to start this November, and if we started in December, we just couldn't get these halls in January or February or March. And the first time halls become available is next September or October. So uh, I, I spent three days a bit like a zombie because I've really been working up to doing this this year, and uh, oh. it's a bit of a disappointment. But I mean, it doesn't matter. I mean, I'm not. But will be... it go on? This is what we want to know. Are we oh, going to see as he's Cliff? No, Cliff. Listen, Syl. I mean, <laughs> it's. Uh, oh yes, it will definitely. Oh no, I couldn't not do it now. Oh, I mean, great. I've waited so long to have a go at this, and the music is sounding fantastic. Oh, I mean, I'm really lucky to have someone like Tim Rice writing lyrics and John Farrow doing Absolutely. the music. But listen, uh, although we're not doing Heathcliff this year... Well, what year, do I do with me tickets? I mean, I'm coming to see you in Wembley. Well, there'll be nobody there. <laughs> <laughs> they will, they will. I thought, I thought rather than cancel everything, I, I quite like touring. I mean, anybody that has followed me at all knows that I enjoy it. I enjoy doing concerts. So I thought, let's not get rid of the halls. I'll go back, same dates from November the 8th, and I'm going to go on tour. You know, the strange thing is, I decided to do only old hits. Oh. Oh. Because... I'll tell you why. Right, come on. You're looking, that's why. I... This is the end of my 35th year, and we yeah. discovered that I've had exactly 35 records in the top five. Oh. So I thought, I'll just go and do all of those. And I'll maybe sing a bit from Heathcliff just to let people know what it's about. Oh, great. Oh, listen, I know, I've put on six pounds. Oh, and then, <laughs> if I've put on six pounds, it took me about four weeks to put on eight ounces, and then suddenly it all started no, to No, you can't. By next year, I shall definitely look like a Chippendale. Oh. There's no... <laughs> well, we love you the way we are, but we're all dying to know who this very special lady is that you're going to give these flowers to. Well... Surprise, surprise, as always, and it's somebody who I know has been a fan of mine, so this, she shows immediately that she has terrific taste. Um, <laughs> since, apparently, since 1959, I've been to concerts and stuff like that, and she's here in the audience tonight. What's her name? Her name is Christine Pace. Surprise, you here, Christine? surprise, Christine. It's the, one, oh, it's the one fainted. Uh, yeah. yes. <laughs> Christine, come down and meet Cliff and collect your flowers. You're that very special lady, Christine. Oh, it's good for you to take these. I can't wait to get rid of them. They're really wet and soggy. <laughs> <laughs> they smell no, I'll beautiful. Keep a hold, I'll keep a hold of them. <laughs> they smell beautiful. Are they you are. surprised? Suitably surprised, Christy? Have you been to a lot of concerts? I mean, really? Yes, yeah, loads. Funny, I thought I might recognise you. Cause I don't, you still have done concerts, and quite often people come regularly, and I've become accustomed to some, but you obviously don't get on the front row. <laughs> or you do get on the front row. Yeah, we fall down the aisles. Oh. <laughs> so you fall right. down the aisles. <laughs> Most people are running out. Can you believe this, Christy? No, I'm shaking. Oh, give him a touch, cos oh. he's there, he's there. <laughs> Christy, I, think I have got something else. If I, if I, well, I've got this little gold envelope, and uh, I, I, I think a little buddy told me that you already had tickets for this year's to see Heathcliff, and um, unfortunately, as you've already heard, I can't do it this year, but I am going to do it next year, so would you come next year? Oh, thank you. Oh, okay. oh my goodness. <laughs> Well and that's the proof. Done. So I will have to do the show now. I will have to play Heathcliff, otherwise Great. you'll you be sitting there. You heard it here first. And that's not all. He's going to take you somewhere now. Where are you going to take her? I'm going to take her to PPS. PPS? The party penthouse suite. Absolutely. Enjoy it, Christine. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Cliff Richard and Christine. <laughs> well, right now, I'm looking for a gentleman.